All right. So here's the fortune teller uh, Barbie's booth. And as you can see, it hinges like that. So you can kind of position it outward if you need to or close it in like this. We have got it on the shelf here. Um, you got your spinning magneto wheel, which just plugs in through the back like such. You just plug that into a wall. Now, if you'll notice down here at the bottom, there's a tiny hole, and that's to run the uh, electrical cord for the crystal ball, which I will run through here. So all you have to do is pick up the booth, and run the cord through the hole in the bottom. There you go, so it freely moves. And the electrical cord plugs into the back of the crystal ball base, and you can see right there, you can just plug that in. Now this will work off batteries, but I don't think it rotates if it works off batteries. But you just plug it in, and then push that front button right there, and there you go. Now the crystal ball will set down right in the center of these crystals right here. You can just set that down gently like so. And there you have it. There's her crystal ball. Now generally, I place Barbie in here. To where the back of her hair is a couple inches away from the hypno wheel. So you don't want her hair getting caught up in it. So just be careful about that. Set her hair just like about that. Now you'll notice that her arms do cross. Just be careful whenever you fold them inward. You might pull on them a little bit to make sure that they don't rub up against each other and scrape any of the paint. But you can position them however you want to. Like so. So that's pretty much how I have her when I set her up. Now as far as these lights, these extra lights here, there's a matching pair and then some colored ones. As you can see here, they will flicker in different modes. So just set them however you want them. I generally place them in here in the corners. Like such. Now here are some of the little extra candlesticks that I made for her. Now, to put batteries in them, you just unscrew the top, and then slide the uh, batteries down inside there, screw the top back on, and then gently screw the bulb in, like such. Yeah, just so it's tight. And you can set those however you want. So it's pretty much however you want to set it up. This is just the way I do it. Now she's going to come with a big giant bag of, of jewelry, and of course you do the earrings however you want to, there's plenty to play with. Now most of her bracelets um, have been bent a little bit to they're a little oblong, and it makes them easy to get down on her wrist that way. And I'll do a couple for example. You just kind of find 
however that or you can bend them yourself a little bit if you need to they should go on pretty easy there we go so you can do the jewelry however you want to do it and there's plenty to play with so just have fun with it and there you go last but not least these are the extra lights that you can put behind it to light up the wall or whatever you want to do. Just play around with it. And to change the batteries in these, just use a little tiny Phillips head screwdriver and take that little screw out and then the bottom, the bottom piece uh, comes off there. So that's it for her and her lighting. Um, also, on the hypno wheel, it can reverse direction if you really want it to by grabbing it and holding it still for just a second, and it'll change direction. So you can have it where it spirals toward the center or spirals outward. Uh, that's, that's up to you. But uh, that should be it, and I really hope you enjoy it.